He called me one night, asked if I'd ever been to an opera. I, of course, had not. Not many operas pass through Cheney, Texas, where I'm from. And opera tickets here in New York are very pricey. And you went to Lincoln Center and saw what? Flew on his private jet to San Francisco to see La Boheme. Wow. So did the relationship change that night? I wanted it to. I was so consumed by all of it, by him. But no, he really took his time, really won my trust. I think he wanted me to believe it was all my idea. I had never been with anyone at that point in my life. Anyway, it was about two months later, we were on a boat, a sailboat that belonged to a friend of his. Out in the middle of the ocean, I had never done anything like that. Everywhere you looked, you only saw water, no land. I found it very freeing. I'll let you figure out the rest. And was there alcohol involved? Yes. And drugs? Yes. And you were how old at this point? 16. And when the two of you had sex, did he use protection? He didn't like that. So what happened? How did it end? A little less than a year later, I got pregnant. He said he'd take care of the whole thing, be with me the whole time. Truth is, truth was, I didn't want it to be taken care of. I had this crazy teenage idea that we'd get married and travel the world. Just keep doing what we were doing, except I wouldn't be in school and we'd have this baby. Made perfect sense to me. Really freaked him out. He said, no, it had to be taken care of. Two weeks later, I get a letter explaining that his assistants had run its course that I was free to apply to other benefactors should I so choose, but that his assistance was no longer available to me. So what did you do? I withdrew from school, got a place on my own, got a job dancing. Dancing? I lied about my age, got a job dancing, topless, then nude. Now I do photography and modeling, adult modeling. I see. Thank you. No further questions, Your Honor. Here comes the moment of truth. Thank you, Miss Carter, for telling the court your story. Your Honor, we are all sorry for what happened to Miss Carter. And I understand that the defense has lined up additional witnesses with similar accounts. But the fact remains that none of this is relevant. Moreover, its probative value is far outweighed by the prejudicial effect it would have on the jury. This kind of evidence these kinds of witnesses need to be excluded. Your Honor, with all due respect... While I am not unsympathetic to the facts, I have to make my ruling based on the law. And the law agrees with ADA Conway. We're not here to judge whether the late Mr. Navarre was an honorable man or not. We are here to decide whether Ms. Kerrigan acted in defense of others. And there is nothing in the testimony that I heard that suggests that is the case. And for that reason, your motion in limine is denied. 